integrate the natural log of the square root of x solution. So the square root looks kind of scary. However, keep in mind there is a rule that you can use that for logarithms. If you have the natural log of x to a power, you can write that as p times the natural log of x. So in this case, we have the natural log of the square root of x. Well, the square root of x is really x to the 1 half power. And so what you can do is you can just put the 1 half in the front. So let's go ahead and start the problem um, by doing that. So we can rewrite our problem and write it as 1 half. We can pull that out. Natural log of x dx. All right, so now we just have to integrate the natural log of x and multiply the answer uh, by 1 half. Um, so let's go ahead and use integration by parts on this. We'll let u be the natural log of x, and dv will be equal to dx. And then so du is 1 over x dx, and when we integrate v, we just get x. We didn't have much of a choice here for the u and dv, right? If you let dv equal l on x dx, then you're stuck you know, doing the original problem. So u is l on x, and then dv is forced to be what's left over. Um, when you integrate dv, uh, you just get x, right? Because the integral of 1 is x. So the formula for integration by parts is u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So in this case, um, it'll be 1 half, parentheses, and then uv, so x ln x, x ln x, minus the integral of v du, so v du. So when you multiply v times du, the x's cancel, right? Because you get x times 1 over x, so you just get dx. All right, this is equal to 1 half x ln x minus 1 half, and then when you integrate 1 here, you just get x, and then plus our constant of integration c. And that's it. That's the final answer. I hope that made sense.